Hey, today's Entertainment City, we continue our La La Land week. But first, divorce drama heating up between Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Their divorce proceedings coming to a boiling point with Brad Pitt slamming his estranged wife. He's accusing Angelina Jolie of having no self-regulating mechanism when it comes to their children's security and that she has released private information that goes against their best interest. So far, no word from Jolie's reps. The couple are expected in court next month. Back to town this morning. Gord Downey has been named Canadian Press Newsmaker of the Year. The win marks the first time in Canadian history that an entertainer has been given the title. The tragically hip frontman, gaining 39% of the vote, made headlines earlier this year after he was diagnosed with incurable cancer, but decided to do a cross-country tour with the hip. He was also honored by the Indigenous community for his advocacy of Aboriginal rights. We're counting down the days until La La Land's big release. In our last series of interviews with the cast, Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone talk about the lasting legacy of the movie. It has played film festivals all over the world. It's already racking up awards. You're going to be very busy for the next few months. What's the consistent thing that you're hearing from people, Emma, about their emotion towards the movie? What I've heard is that it brings people joy, which really makes me, you know, very happy uh, to hear. And it was something that, you know, is wonderful to be a part of in that sense that people I know that people will go for two hours and have this kind of um, suspension of reality but there's also so much in it that is truly deeply emotional it's not just this kind of like fluff of two hours that's just filled with joy there's a lot of heartbreak and and depth I think to this story it just seems that people are having as much fun watching it as we did making it so that's all you can hope for really. And don't forget, La La Land dances its way into theater Sunday. How does the story begin? With a boy. A boy, devastated by his mother's terminal illness diagnosis, turns to an unlikely source to help cope. A Monster Calls is an emotional ride. It reverberates with me when I first read it. It's not black and white. He's kind of telling his audiences, his you know, children who read this, young adults, that life is complicated. We are all very complex creatures. This was such a very intimate family drama about something so important. We'll have more interviews with the A-list cast coming up in the new year. And as always, get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter at End City. Now, we're going to end Entertainment City today with a few holiday greetings from our favorite stars. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Let's get some love going for 2017. Very, very Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. Be full, be happy, and hopefully be peaceful. Happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays. From the set of passengers, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, uh, joyous Kwanzaa, happy New Year, and uh, go drink and eat your face offs. So that's what we're going to do. Merry Christmas, <laughs> happy New Year, happy Kwanzaa. Hey guys, it's Alessia Cara, and uh, happy holidays to all of you. Hi, I'm Rita, and I want to wish you a happy holiday. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. like to say happy holidays to everybody on our dear planet. May we all have a great spirit within us to help one another.